we got disconnected, my battery died. So let's uh, start on the second uh, phrase. This is after you did the initial repeat. Now you're gonna take off from here. You're gonna move your pinky from F sharp to G sharp. And then you have an E sharp, which is nothing more than an F natural. And you have a C sharp in your double, right? Then you stretch out your pinky to get the A. Keep your one where it is for the C sharp. You just add an F sharp here. And then you come right back to first position, or in this case, second position, I guess, or second fret. And then kind of like an E major. And then a sharp seven, because it's a dominant. Slide all the way up to the seventh fret for that F sharp. Three and two are stacked on the fifth and fourth string, and then you're going to move over to the E on the B string, right? And you have a G sharp here on the sixth fret, fourth string. Now let's go ahead and play through that. Shift over, get the F sharp back. E major, dominant, slide up, 7th fret, right? The next uh, part presents us uh, uh, with a, a bit more difficulties, but also very rewarding piece, very beautifully written. Then you are on an E major still, right? If you remember the beginning of the piece, this is the, your very second chord, right? Then you're going to jump up to the seventh fret with your pinky for that B, two grabs the G sharp on the on the D string, sixth fret, three is going to grab your D on the third string, and then you just run, run, come right back to the E major chord, right? D here, D there, right? So it's an E seven chord. One more time, the beginning of the third system. Stay there, play the B string, and the G string is held in the bar. And then you're going to have to get back and stack 2, 3, and 4, and you reply with an E major chord. Right? And then you're going to repeat this process. doing something different there you could actually get brighter in color or darker in color right brighter getting closer to the bridge darker getting closer to the to the frets uh, to the frets right then the next section uh, starts you out in a major so you are lined up two three and four fourth third and second string right so you start out of this chord D so you keep three there on the third string two for the A bass to get that kind of B7 chord, right? But it's a, actually a D natural. Right, you get a C sharp here and an A, and then you just reach out for your A on the fifth fret first string, accompanying with the C sharp and A bass. G sharp here with three, and then you're just kind of hinting at an E major chord. that you have a bar in the third fret grabbing the soprano with your with your bar finger right so you get an E right here in the fifth fret and a C sharp on the fourth fret fifth string and then you're gonna have to actually go to this note which is your F natural and this chorus marks as an E sharp it's the same thing sixth fret second string but you're not gonna use your pinky you have to be very quick with your left hand Practicing that a few times. Ah, D natural. All right, so you're here. The advantage that you have that as you come down, you can bring your finger down. You shift and you bring your finger down. All right, you have D over 
here on the fifth fret, fifth string, and A on the fourth string, seventh fret. F sharp here, F natural's here, then F sharp. Right? And then your pinky is going to now, from the second string, come down to the fifth, uh, first string. You still are holding on to your D over here. Or if you're gentle enough with your thumb, you could actually play a D on an open fourth string, right? I prefer holding it on fifth string, I have more control over it. Right, very beautiful. Here's F sharp, and then two on the fifth fret, and then you have an F natural, right? This time you can use the, the open D. And you just slide back. Keep your three there, you're stacked, fifth fret. C sharp on the fourth fret. This two again on the fifth fret. Stack as well. Right? One to the E and two to the D on fourth string and second string. Stay there with your pinky. Stay there with your second finger for the D. You just bring your index finger down for the A. And you're hinting at your closure as you land your bar, or it's a mini bar, grabbing the C sharp and stretching out your pinky. Right? So we look at that whole second section, nice and slow. 